Hi, my name's Cheryl Hurst. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Sydney, Australia. Today, I want to make a little gift bag and um, what you need is the cello bags. Okay, and I'll have that all down below. Uh, so I've got one out. I'm using Poppy Parade for this one. I'm using, you know I love punches. This punch, and I'm using a, a two punch, a two punch thing, some sticky tape or cello tape, whatever you like to call it. I'm going to use some um, linen thread. Sorry, I just lean over, and I'm going to be using this ribbon from the online exclusives. I'm going to do hot chocolate. So I'm going to get some marshmallows. I've already put that in there, so you didn't have to see. I'm going to do the chocolate. Um, so let's start. Now I've got these tubes just from the junk store and they're called glass test tubes. Now you can get the cork stops or that, but I, I thought the lids would be more secure and keep it fresher because I'm making it a bit early. Now I've got this funnel and I got this from um, tar Target, not Target, sorry, Kmart. don't know why I said Target. We don't have any Target stores here anymore. So I'm just going to open it. It's all been cleaned. And I'm going to put the tube just like that. Okay, I'm, I'm using the Cadbury's drinking chocolate. Okay. And I'm just going to sprinkle some in here. Making a chocolate cloud here and going in a bit more. Oops, I need to pull that up a bit. You like making gifts for friends? Well, this would be a great teacher or your neighbours. Okay, I think I'm just about there, so I'll put the rest back into that tin and I'll just let that shake out. Okay. So I've got enough. So that would be a nice gift for, you know, school teachers. They've got the chocolate everywhere. So naturally this is going to be big. You can put anything in there, but I'm just doing these. You can put a spoon, you can do whatever you like. But I'm just doing a very quick and simple one where I'm just going to put these in here. I'm putting these in these bags because they are food safe. You do have a lot of room there, so that's why I'm just going to fold it, fold it, and hence why you just need the sticky, we call the sticky tape, and I'm just going to even that up so it doesn't stick out like that, and just put it across there, so you've got that like that. I'm going to scrunch that up and I'm using the dotted ribbon from the online exclusive store and because it's two-sided I'm going to and plus you know I've only got one hand I'm going to do rabbit ear bow the reason why I'm doing the rabbit ear bow is so I get the ribbon in the same if I do it the other way I never get it to go the same way as it, how I want it to go so let me turn that around we've got that twist that it down better and we just cut off what we need okay so we've done the major part of that and now we're going to get, what did I do with it? Here it is. I'm going to get the modern oval die, a uh, die, punch out. I'm going to put that there. I'm done with that now. And where's my stamp? This is good because now I've lost everything. I'm using... Wishing you a warm 
blessings of Christmas and that is from I'll write it down because I've just lost I've lost everything because I haven't tied it up properly after. oh no okay so I've got that I'll let you know when I find the steam set because my desk is chaos at the moment especially if you've just seen the previous video that um, I had my unboxing so everything's been thrown everywhere and I should have got this out thinking before I do that I want to Put the embossing buddy on there it's just like a powder and that stops the static now i'm going to i'm going to put it down the bottom here just nice even pressure and it comes up like a sticky res residue and that's where our embossing powder will sit on it now that is a good thing here it is oh i found it it's from the modern garden that's where this one comes from okay so i'm going to get the white i had it on the floor next to me so i knew where the stuff was uh -huh. okay i'm just going to get my tweezers and i'm just going to get that there so don't smudge anything so and because I use a lot of I put it in here but it comes in the little containers like this and you can do it that way as well and use the yeah that's nice and clear put that back on how to make and this in seven minutes I'm going well um, the heat tool, this is the heat tool you can buy, and this is what you need to do um, the embossing. And I'm just going to put it up here, and you'll see the change when it's hot enough. You see which... It never gets old, does it? I love watching this. Okay, so it's embossed. Okay, we'll leave that, turn it turn off, I'll show it to you better. It's got a little stand, because that, that gets, it's got a guard there so you don't burn yourself, because that inside gets very hot. And um, that's the heat emboss tool. It's it's something that you must have if you want to do. Take your card making to the next level. It's a great thing to have. Right, now we've got that. I'm using my other punch. And I'm going to use the slit there. And I just, what I'm going to do is going to put it upside down. So then I make sure that it's even. But I make sure I didn't hit by accident, which I should not anyway. But if you're stamped up a bit high, you just put it in there. And you've got your tag. Now that was a bit crooked had the camera in the row but anyway that'll do for now and what I'm going to do is get a length and I'm going to do, I did double it but that'll make it a bit longer and I'm going to double it like that uh, a bit longer ends off. I'm doubling it over and I'm going to put it into here my straight ribbon <laughs> and I'm going to just loop it like that. Very easy and I'm just going to take those ends off just like that. And I'm just going to get my dimensionals. So I've got your five and oh, here they are. I told you everything's everywhere. I've got 
got some dimensionals here and I'm just going to stick it on the front there. So where I want it, I'm just going to put the dimensional there. And it can not on the, no, that would do. Dimensional there, dimensional there. And place that there. And I'm going to get out these iridescent rhinestones and I'm going to put a couple of the medium size just along the top here don't do that straight I hope my pick, my pick tool will be fine so there you are and here's the one I made before so I've got two gifts ready to give out to neighbours, friends, school teachers. So I hope you like that. Quick and sweet. It's just some marshmallows. Oh, I'll show you the marshmallows. I've got these in Woolworths and they're in the cooking part because I didn't want the real sweet ones because hot chocolate to me is quite sweet. And I got these all in Woolworths. Okay, so see you later. Bye. Oh, just one thing. Um, if you're interested in um, joining my team, all the details are below because we've got a very, very good special on at the moment. And thank you for giving me a thumbs up and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.